last and finally, predictions. This is our last podcast before we come um, back to chat. What <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what that's going to look like next week. Um, whether I'll be buying more chickens or, you know, enjoying the fact that hopefully my dollar will be able to purchase more sometime in the coming years, but we'll, we'll see. So what go first, what, what are your predictions headed into next week? Um, so logic and reason and analysis tells me this is going to be a very substantial Trump and Republican win. If you look at the early voting, you look at the turnout, you look at all these other things, you look at the polling, which is much tighter than it has been before. You know, it's possible that this is an anomaly, that this year uh, there won't be a Trump undercount in the polling. Maybe that's possible. But all everything we're capable of knowing um, points to a significant Trump win. Uh, and... Uh, Republicans picking up the Senate, uh, probably in the 52 to 54 seat range, I think maybe on the higher end of that. Um, and the House, I can't put numbers on it, but if Trump is winning and if Trump is more or less even in the popular vote, um, then that the Republicans should show the, show, uh, hold the House. So every logical analytical part of me says this should be a good year for Trump and Republicans but there's always that gnawing feeling that they're going to pull something uh, they're pulling they've been pulling it for several days now um, fakery lying just creating things out of whole cloth um, manipulation so uh, that's my prediction uh, but the rational part of me says Trump is going to win the concerned part of me uh, said somehow the Democrats are going to pull it out. No, I, I am pretty much in the exact same place. And I would add to that, that I fully predict that regardless of the outcome of the election, that the left and all of their tribes are going to become insufferable in ways we've never seen. Whether Harris ends up winning or Trump ends up winning, it's 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 going to be rough. The media is either going to be crowing or they're going to be in complete and total meltdown mode. And in that case, they're not going to accept responsibility or accountability. They're going to be looking to blame other people because that's what that whole mentality. I'm sorry, a car drove by. We live in a place where that doesn't happen very often. And one of my dogs <laughs> making sure they know that it's it's a, okay. That's a sign of something. I don't know what it's a sign of, but it's a sign of something. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right. Well, I, I do predict if Trump, if Trump wins, there will be major rioting. There will be major violence. We are seeing complete meltdowns over the fact that it's even close. We are seeing mental breakdowns. I've said this many times on Twitter X that uh, we are going to see a psychic, psychiatric break. We are going to see a psychiatric break on the left, particularly among younger women, based on their behavior so far, that we may never have seen before. The Democrats and the media have whipped that side into such a frenzy as to what is going to happen. Uh, you know, Project 2025, um, they've whipped them into such a mental frenzy that I do believe we're going to see a psychological phenomenon, the likes of which we haven't seen, where, you know, people are going to lose it. And I think if Trump wins, that is an absolute certainty. Uh, I completely agree. And I think it's important, too, to remember, and I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, think that any of our listeners would be this way that it's fine to be glad that Trump wins. Unity is never going to come from the other side. It's just not. They thrive on divisiveness. There has to be contentiousness. There has to be something along those lines in order for them to subsist. Um, and so 
I mean, I think I'm not saying we have to run around hugging everybody and be like, let's all get along now. We're one happy family. But I do think the burden of trying to mend anything, if it's mendable, and I'm not even sure that that's possible anymore, um, does rest on the other side 